So, let's talk about rafts. There's a raft item that looks kind of like this. And you can do other things with it. Go up here. And show you what the rafts. Okay, this one has what we call it, it's a refrigerator, basically a preserving box. Which you can keep stuff in for a pretty long time. We put some spark powder. Anyway, we keep this stuff so we can take the boat up the coast. Nice in case you end up dead. Got some storage, campfire for cooking meat, mortar and pestle for making painting stuff. Yeah, there's a Actually, pretty good setup. And a couple chairs. Sit down. Enjoy the ride. And there's a bed up here. So if you die, come back to it. So this is just our explorer raft. Hey, look at this monstrosity. I know it looks weird. But you can build things on rafts. This was specifically done, we call it our carriers. See the ramps? Look, you can just walk up out of the water. Well, so can the animals. But we can bring along um, carnal raptors on this. Pretty cool. And granted, it's a tight fit. They're big. The tigers and stuff like that are easy. Um, there's, of course, there's a storage up here. Seating, mandatory bed. Also go up here to shoot enemy. First thing we talked about, the bed makes it so you can respawn. Um, I still have a place to drive down there. And um, then if you go up this short ladder, you can't really get all the way up. But you have access to preserving bins. And order and pestle. Powder on there. And oops, thank you, last longer. Go on this side, go on the other side. Go Two of those bins. <laughs> There's nothing in there. This was kind of a cool deal because we have. <laughs> Yeah, the rail makes it so, yes, you can fall in the water, but you can also shoot straight down this way. If you have sharks in the water and stuff, that's handy. We have a smithy here. So this lets us repair weapons and stuff. You know, like, uh, say, look at my axe. My pick needs some repairs. I can repair it right here on the boat. And since it's metal, it needs to be heavy. Well, got that bench, and if you break it, I'm done. And, of course, up here... We have the ballista. Well, you, this thing's pretty cool. Dump in here. Whatever you shoot with this is pretty much done. Works really well. And we have a landing platform for the birds. We can fit two birds up here and have our two um, tigers down below. We've got campfires cooking meat. A pretty nice setup. It looks like hell, and it's difficult to drive a little bit because it's hard to see, but I have Cinnamon kind of tell me where we're going. But it really is unbeatable for having everything you need with you. And last, we have the R-Grid Raider. A little black and blue action here. Got a couple chests. And a generator. Why? Because... <laughs> oh, and a bed to respawn always. Torches. Have six automatic electric auto cannons up here. So, I'm not a big fan of having everything just killed for you. But we do like to go get blueprints from those light beams that come down from the sky. 
Yeah, there's one off in the distance above that flag. But those things can drop blueprints. Well, they're usually guarded by a bunch of meatheads. So to get the meatheads out of your way, I can drive this boat up. And um, it'll help with soften things up. Check it out. Guns are ready to go. So that's kind of naughty, but it's fast and efficient. Yep. How to get a couple of Rexes onto one raft. And uh, I don't even think we're at the maximum place limit. We've got to be pretty close though. But uh, obviously they don't turn around so well. So we went with a raft, or excuse me, a ramp at the front. And there's a ramp at the back as well. So you can load one from either direction. And there's actually, it's not that bad. We put some more stuff in here, really. Probably fit some carnos. But uh, it's got a couple beds, campfires, and chests. And of course, the uh, area to drive is still open. So, yeah, it's a little tight. It's not an ideal situation. But to, if you needed to move these guys, you could really do it. So this is kind of was the idea, just to be able to have a way to um, move a couple of Rexes um, across the, uh, we have a, the channel, uh, one of our friend's bases is uh, across the uh, channel from us. So we end up going back and forth across the water pretty frequently. And this seemed like the good solution for us. So I don't know if that's going to help anybody out or not, but um, you're trying to do something like this. It's not that difficult to do. It's all wood and um, three wide, a couple high, ramps front and back, and that was all it took.